Guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we start, like and subscribe. This is a very special episode because I was too lucky and we found the Hotas X52 Professional for 70 euros on Facebook Marketplace. This buy, it was like stealing a church. It was a very big opportunity, so I had to buy it. And now I started learning about airplanes, how you land an airplane and how uh, you take off. So let's get started. So before you continue, if you hear any fun on the background, it's summer here and my ass is burning on fire from the heat. So I had to open the fan. Also, I'm a little bit sick. I had the COVID-19 and now we are back on the game. Now, on the propeller airplane, as you see, it has the tension to turn left and right as crazy. So I put the propeller RPM to the max. I steer the tail left and right and we are ready to take off. Nose up and here we go. Ah, shit, I'm still sick. So, I learned yesterday because my brother was here, he's an expert pilot, and he told me how I should uh, turn on the horizon, how I calculate the degrees to get to the airport that I, go I want. Okay, uh, I think we get the engine, uh, the propeller, something I push over here and I... Oh boy, we're gonna die. Let me fix it. Okay, throttle full, mixture full, and we're going for a crash. Six, departing straight out. To make sure that you take off as you should. So we have again our propeller <coughs> RPM to the max, our mixture too, and at the under 3000 feet we have to get our mixture to the max. After 3,000 feet, where the air is becoming more thin, we have to adjust the fuel, because if we throw too much fuel and we don't have air, we can't make burn into the engine. I mean, the perfect uh, balance between uh, gas and uh, oxygen. So, let's go again after the crash, and we are getting up. Also, I have the AI uh, tracking. It's not a VR watch you see. It's only uh, a webcam that it's uh, following my head. So when I turn my head left and right, you can see where I'm going. So we have to climb. And I learned also how to watch the gauges or oh, should I have to make the flaps okay we have to straight the flaps in order to fly as we should now I'm turning my head uh, I choose also the Mooney because uh, if you have watched my other channel I'm restoring a Robinson R22 helicopter and Mr. Bruce, the owner that had the helicopter, had also a Mooney M20. So I took this plane to feel how it was when he was flying this beast. Now, when you turn left and right, you can't go more than 10 degrees uh, because then you're gonna start the plane or you're gonna crash and die. So now I'm fixing the trim, I'm trying to make the airplane to fly on a straight position because it has uh, the tension to go up or down so I make the trim which is the real uh, tail, not the tail, the fenders uh, if I remember the correct word and I have to adjust them so I can make the airplane fly it on a straight line so, in this case, here the airport has the one uh, runway at 64 degrees and the other one in uh, 2044. 
Show a half to the other right, 90 degrees to turn right, and another 90 degrees to turn right again. And when I see my uh, the airport on my left wing, my right wing, sorry. So when I said three before, I meant the rear wings. So when I see uh, the runway next to me on the right, I have to take this path and make enough distance so I can turn around another 90 and 90 degrees to get back to 180. No, to 20, 220. To get back to 244 degrees and see the airport in front of me. So now I'm just checking left and right. The horizon. Now as you saw on the right wing, it's the airport. So I'm flying on the opposite direction of the runway. Also, when you fly, you don't, uh, you must not uh, climb or down a hill or climb or descent. Sorry, more than 10 degrees, because the passengers are gonna get dizzy and start throwing like crazy. So as you can see, I make smooth movements to the right to make the plane go straight to the horizon and here is the airport on the left, the rear seats are empty uh, I'm not opening this door even if I thought about it and you have a beautiful Greek view of Rhodes Island in Greece Now we have the runway over there. So when you approach the runway, you're gonna see four lights. Four lights. Two are gonna be white, and two have to be red in order to descend and land the plane with safety. Uh, on this clip, I had the four uh, lights white, so I'm not sure what I did wrong because I also had my flaps down in order to cut my speed and uh, land on the runway. So here, as you see, I'm keeping, uh, I, I'm keep going straight because I want to maintain a distance to the runway. So I have to make space to turn 90 degrees to the right as I'm going right now and an another 90 degrees again to the right in order to see the runway in front of me. So the AI uh, thing that I have, I'm gonna put on the description below which programs I used because I had the, the truck hat which didn't work. So I found another app from YouTube that it uh, put some dots in my face and it tracks the movement on the webcam. Eight mic traffic so is nine o'clock per mile at eight thousand one hundred feet generic. Eight thousand feet. The other plane is high. So this uh, thing Center follows my head and it's like having a VR without having a VR. Uh, please like and subscribe Report to get this sight. channel bigger and sometime soon I think we we'll have to buy a VR to have proper footage. So now I'm making again the last 90 degrees. No, that's the first 90 degrees. And thanks to my brother. Duffy, I'm gonna put his channel Center also in the description. And here it's too much turn on the right, so I correct my ankle. So the tower control now tells me to descend and maintain my speed. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm slowly trying my best. Uh, I think 
think we are a little bit more than 10 degrees but now I'm starting to have the runway in front of me okay making some corrections now turning the tail also I had the brakes on the lower uh, part of the joystick because I'm waiting for the pedals to arrive I ordered them today so now I'm pulling back the throttle to reduce my speed and now I'm going out to make my flaps go down and cut my speed also so this approach is wrong because I should cut the runway in front of me and the last minute I'm trying to get in a straight position and as you can see that didn't happen so the first landing it's not gonna be smooth and I will repeat the process again to make a land as we should so now I'm starting to give a little bit throttle because I hear the airplane falling high here on the first attempt I will jump during the land so we are going to repeat the process nope this is not right I didn't get the plane to the back that goes too much speed and jumping okay I make again the same thing but this time I went a little bit further in order to have more space so here I'm trying to see the airport but I'm not in the correct aircon and now as you see I went further back in order to turn and have the airstrip in front of me now I have my head closer to the screen so the camera can track me and get over the panel also I'm still learning how to use the autopilot and tomorrow we're gonna have a drift video game as we should I'm starting my speed a little bit checking the pedals, the mixture and also on this uh, land I could have the propeller RPM lower to reduce my speed which I didn't do so we are keeping this for the next flight simulator video so now we are getting a better approach and I am starting reducing my speed to descend Also the Hotas 
X52 Professional from Logitech is in perfect condition. It was a very good deal, that's why I bought it. So the runway on the right, sorry, on the left side of the runway, you can see the four small lights. over my house, the real one. Like a goat. Now we are pushing the brakes and we are heading to the parking lot. So, for a second time flying with the joystick, I think we are doing good. waiting for the bus and I'm gonna go towards them to watch the details and here we stop so now we are turning the engine off Placing the switch, the batteries, and everything. And we are on the full stop. And now let's watch this plane outside. That's a Mune M20, like Mr. Bruce used to have. The real one became parts for another airplane because it was not airworthy. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and see you in the next episode I don't know what this on the fender on the wing I just notice so it's a beautiful little plane from the 70s have a nice evening oh why? Hey, what? the bus ran over me? no this is not possible ok guys see you at the next time